And I wanted to take a few minutes before we wrap up and just recap what were some of the highlights. There's some background noise coming from somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, but the just what were some of your takeaways? There were, and I, I can I can lead things off, but I am uh, there. There were so many from learn, from hearing uh, JT earlier today talking about how AI was. Uh, picked up on an abusive relationship and alert and, and, and alerted somebody saying, Hey, uh, this woman is in a potentially an abusive relationship just from the, the tonalities of the conversation that it, it overheard um, from just the, 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 how it generates the, uh, how AI can generate the PowerPoints from Claude versus chat GPT the uh, the emotional intelligence, how that's coming along. Um, I, I mean, just from the, the the MythBusters with with Liz and some of the uh, and just some of the phenomenal speakers there. The ethics debate between Kristen and, and Jonathan. Uh, there were so many just phenomenal moments. Uh, even like the race to a uh, hundred million dollars. Uh, that small business panel. I don't know where to start. So Sandy, yeah, I, kick I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. And you know, here's the thing. You know, so many entrepreneurs, especially the people, a lot of the people that I'm working with, we left our corporate careers. Right. We're doing our own thing now, and we're kind of creatures of habit, right? And I loved. In, in the last panel we were talking about, it was like creating a new habit. And like, that was, I think the biggest aha moment for me is that there's so often that I spend so much time trying to create content or like I said, writing a difficult email, whatever. And I'm literally going, putting a post-it note, like right in front of me, the saying, can, Jet, can chat GPT help me with this question mark? And before I do anything, hmm, ask myself that question, because really at the end of the day, a lot of us, like, you know, for a hot minute after our last symposium, I sat there and I'm like, okay, how can I get on this bandwagon? Because people are making a ton of money. What can I do? To And I'm like, uh, nothing. I don't have the skills, you know, like, I don't have the skill set, you know, whatever the case. So for me, and I think most entrepreneurs, we're just using it as a tool to help us. And, and it's about creating those new, new habits and making sure that we're use, utilizing it in the best way possible because, you know, so often we just, we're creatures of habit. We just try to do it ourselves. And it's such an amazing tool to help us create that content, write those emails, create the course, Right. I, I, I made a note. Oh, my gosh. You know, I've been sitting here thinking about a new course that I want to roll out. Right. Karen's shaking her head. Right. Because we both roll out courses. I'm thinking. And so do you, Tom, because you've got your, your whole platform. I was like, oh, my gosh. And I did that. And within, you know, five seconds, it's got this whole outline. And that's a place to start from. It's not that you right. need to use it verbatim. It's a place to start. It's a starting point to save me hours and hours of time of sitting there mapping things out. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so great. So that's the thing that I think that that the majority of the people out there, that's how we really need to utilize this. But, but just hearing all of the little tips on giving them prompts. And I didn't really realize there was a custom chat GPT thing that we could figure out. Cause I I've been paying chat GPT 20 bucks a month for at least six, well, probably eight months now. Right. And so there's so much about it that we don't know. So. Awesome. Uh, Karen, uh, what, were, what were some of your biggest takeaways? So one of my biggest takeaways was similar to what you were saying, Sandy, I was amazed about the fact that AI is designed with assumptions and so it won't ask me questions and I have to give it permission to ask me questions because I had heard people say that they used, you know, ChatGPT to, to ask them questions, but I didn't, I didn't know that I had to tell it to ask me the questions and I didn't know I had to say you have permission to ask me questions, right. you know, and so there were some very subtle 
um, but very important clues that people gave to how to use the tools because I had I had been trying people said just play around with it and you'll figure it out well that's not really true for me I mean I did learn some things and I did you know but it was a lot slower but if I had had Jonathan Mast giving me these <laughs> or or you know Dr. Brett you know Fessler giving me these tools I would have been so much further ahead and then if I wanted to use it for marketing and branding you know and having you know Liz Smoke or, or Sarah Chevalier you know or Deanna Leonard giving me tips for branding and marketing wow I would have right? I would have been able to do so much more so much faster I mean that course would look so beautiful <laughs> with mid journey you know and all those all those tools so yeah I just I, I feel like I have a huge list of things that I need to go research. I need to go figure out perplexity now and mid journey and, and so many was the, the what was it uh, doing a competitive analysis? Was that G O G G L E maybe or yeah after, yeah it was go look yeah, at it was it. Goggle Bot is what Goggle they said. Bot yeah yeah Goggle I mean, Bot so yeah that was a incredible. yeah incredible and and I also appreciated when they talked about emotional intelligence, because that's one of my favorite topics that, you know, there's so much involved with neuroperception, you know, and, and recognizing those subtle cues to developing that empathy and to responding with empathy. And, and that's something that, as, as Liz Smoke said, we're not there yet. <laughs> we may get there, but at the moment, we're not there yet. And I still think yeah. it's going to take a lot. It's going to take somebody with a lot of emotional intelligence to train it to do any of those things anyway. But but it may improve our skills as far as personally developing emotional intelligence ourselves. I mean, that would be, we should design that, you guys. <laughs> it, it's out there. It is being I used. But well, it, I, know, I, I know it's in the preliminary stages. I was yeah. just thinking we should do it at the advanced yeah. stage. <laughs> well, but here's the thing, too, because we had this conversation earlier today and I forget who it was that was talking about it. Um, let me look at the schedule. Maybe it'll, mm, I, I can't remember who brought it up. We are, we could be facing a bubble where everybody's like racing to right. create all of these things. And you may be investing a lot of money and it may go nowhere. And that's kind of like where my thing is, is like, you know, I've already got this business I've invested a ton of money into it. Do I really want to put these resources into creating something where I'm going to be competing against a thousand other similar apps? Right. Or let me just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> That's right? a good point. <laughs> yeah, perfecting, I don't know. perfecting like, what it's you're not, doing. It's not broken. Why fix it? Right. Like, let me just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm not a tech person and I you know, you're jumping into an area. And I think that's where there's a lot of discernment needs to needs to happen with people. You need to kind of figure out, do you want to stay in your lane or does it make sense from a financial perspective? Because it, everything costs money, you know, and you may, you may have a great idea and, oh yeah, to get it to market and to be com to competitive, to be competitive, you may be looking at a hundred grand. Like, is that really worth it for you? Or just learn as much as you can and make what you're doing even better. Yeah. And like William Belial said, you know, you know, just outwork everybody. <laughs> you know, there's, there no, you there's no substitute for hard work and time. But at my it's age, handy. I don't want to work too. Like, this has been a long day. I had a long day. You know, we have a long day tomorrow. Like, <laughs> Not every day. We don't want to. Not every, every day. day. Right. 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 No, you got to. So, there's a. There's got to. You got to keep that balance. Right. I, can, I can assure you that once we conclude this this recap of the day, I'm gonna go get my seven year old and maybe my eleven year old if he's interested, and I'm gonna use ChatGPT to create a custom bedtime story just for them. <laughs> With I some pictures. Love that. <laughs> And, and, and we're going to go create menus and, and use it as our personal assistant. <laughs> well, I don't know if you heard that that part of the segment, Karen, because I know you've been traveling and you've got a lot yeah. going on today. So thank you so much for being here. Um, there, there was a gentleman on who he uses was, chat GPT. Who was it? Uh, Tobias Patch. Tobias. Yep. And he writes, he has chat GPT write a customized bedtime story for his children. And I was like, well, my son just graduated college, but... When I have grandchildren, that would be, but I know you've got grandbabies, yeah. so like maybe you could do that, right? And, and I, I need to do images, 
and make it customizable. I, I think that is so cool. Like you can and have you fun with, with AI, right? It can yeah, really enhance yeah. our lives in so many and ways. It can be fun and, and you don't have to sit there and type. It has a, your computer, if you have a microphone, it has a microphone you can talk to it. It will <laughs> dictate it and then you hit return and there you go. <laughs> and you know what else? You know what else really amazed me was the speed because so many times creatives get stuck. They have the idea, and I think it was Dr. Brent Fessler that said this. That I can't remember who said it. Maybe it was Jonathan. Now somebody said <laughs> when they had an idea, they could just execute right then instead right. of, yeah. you know, getting getting stuck in the weeds. And I thought that speed of execution for a child is so important and, and a youth, you know, well, for any of us, but, but they have so many ideas coming so fast <laughs> that I think that will be really exciting for them to be able to use it in that way. Well, it is. And then I go, I always kind of go, cause I, I, in, in, in times like this, I like to play a little bit of the devil's advocate just for conversation's sake. We're so used to instant gratification and now AI <laughs> is coming in and it's just, it's enabling that. It's enabling that instant gratification and that's not real life. So we True. still have to maintain that balance of life isn't instant gratification. As much as that's... AI is there, I still got to go down and cook my dinner because I don't have an AI robot yet to cook dinner for me. Right? That, that's right. in three months. So they'll, they'll be you know, a dime a dozen. And actually, I believe... <laughs> Uh, Elon Musk said that in the next 20 years or something like that, uh, it'll be two robots for every one human uh, solving different solutions. That's incredible to think about. Um, I, I would pay for a chef <laughs> before a cleaning company. It's just that a chef is more expensive than a cleaning company, and that's not in my budget right now. <laughs> but it I, would yeah, make I, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, cook for me. I, if I, yeah, if, if we can figure out a way to give me an AI robot that's going to come in and cook for me and give me healthy food, like that would be worth it. <laughs> so I, I want to spend the last, you know, two or three minutes here. I want to review what we have coming up tomorrow. We have the LA <laughs> Tribune Women's Journal uh, that is yes. uh, being co-hosted by the two of you. Um, I have to say so thank excited. you to the LA Tribune, Mo Rock. Uh, uh, Michael Silvers, yourself, uh, Sandy and Karen. Um, I mean, just the resources and the help to put all this together. Uh, uh, the support from the LA Tribune, the podcast network, the L LA uh, Tribune uh, Women's Journal. Thank you to everybody. Really appreciate it. And then after that, we have Manoush coming on. Um, I, I, I'll the star power behind Manoj and the knowledge that he brings and the insight he has into the, the space of AI is absolutely incredible. And then we have the LA podcasting panel. So if you're a podcaster, you want a podcast, or you want to do blog or, or, or vlogs, uh, you want to tune in for that. Uh, we have some absolutely phenomenal uh, podcasters. We have Jeff Ross, I believe is coming back for a half an hour uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll talk about more about social media and social selling. Uh, you have Hector Garcia. Oh, man. He, we, he created a, a doppelganger, if you would, a digital twin in a video that is, it looks realistic. And it speaks as many languages as he wants to click a button and it'll speak that language. And it is absolutely incredible. I think tomorrow he's speaking... Uh, Spanish, French, Mandarin, and Tagalog uh, from the Philippines. Wow. Um, absolutely incredible. And then we have insurance claims panel. We have a, a deep uh, base of folks who are from the insurance claims. Uh, that should be a really fun <laughs> debate when it comes to AI and, and property insurance claims. We have more about uh, social media and selling and, and uh, audience engagement. We have, That's uh, going to be a great panel because every be. business has to learn selling skills and yeah. Every person. Good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have Aoife coming tomorrow evening as well. Um, Aoife is amazing. Dear friend of mine. She's incredible. We have a marketing panel for a small business. And then we have another a whole different LA uh, Tribune Women's Journal. And we have an ethics panel. And then we have Tobias. Thank you for putting me on that panel, by the way, because I have so many questions that I want to ask. 
the ethics panel. So thank you. I appreciate that. We have some I'm really looking forward to that. Super smart people, uh, highly just incredibly smart people about ethics, and, and they have they they will do as deep as you want to go in ethics. They can talk ethics all day, all day long. Uh, Tobias Patch is, uh, is coming back and talking about marketing and AI and automation for your business. How do you automate your business to make you money free for time so you can go? It's on autopilot. He's going to give some insight and some secrets on that. Um, we have a packed schedule tomorrow. I, I'm, I have pages and pages and pages of notes. And then by the end of tomorrow, it'll take me a week to digest half of it, even a, a fraction of it. It's so true. <laughs> so, but, Tom, if people are, aren't able to make it tomorrow or miss some of these, how can they watch a replay? So we are, um, all the raw footage is going to be given to the speakers and they will disseminate that to their social media platforms. I know my marketing team is also going to be doing some branded and we'll chop up. So the, the marketing panels, the solo speakers, we'll be pushing that out through the, my mentor HQ Facebook page, my personal pages. Um, I, I'm sure that, uh, Jonathan Mass will, uh, get that out to his Facebook group. Uh, Sandy, I know you have this recorded on your YouTube channel. It's one of the yep. places we're streaming it. Also, we have part of it with Instagram. Instagram cuts it off after four hours. So we only got the first four hours of your Instagram channel. But uh, we're working on getting it out. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe the LA Tribune might also assist in some ways to help uh, promote and get the, the messaging out. Uh, it has been absolutely just the support from all the speakers as a whole, as a group, has been absolutely incredible. Yes, it has been. And Tom, I have to say one thing that I thought was interesting, that it didn't matter what level you were at with AI. If you were just starting, there were excellent tips for just starting. And yet, oh, if you right. were yes. much further down the road, there was additional you know, nuggets that we could all benefit from as well. So I thought it just covered the whole range, no matter where yeah. you're at with AI. And Nick Newhouse and teaching us how to use AI to code AI and put the custom. I have to go back and rewatch that and really dig deep. I mean, I have applications I've already thought about. I want to bring that in. I haven't uh, uh, thought through all that, but we'll be using AI on our website uh, before long because of Nick Newhouse and what he's brought. Um, last remark I want to I want to like to uh, plug here. Uh, Krista Moore, Tobias Patch. Michael Kittinger, who is behind the scenes, uh, they have developed an app. Tech Talk uh, Pros have developed an app. Text the, the letters AI or the word AI to 512-865-4060. Uh, if you want to know about... 4065. Sorry, uh, yeah, 4065. Yes, it's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. If you want to know about a speaker, we have speaker bios loaded in there. AI generated speaker bios. It'll inform you about the uh, about the AI symposium. Um, it will provide tips and, and tricks and, and level you up with the use of AI for 30 days out once a day. Uh, we're holding a mastermind in conjunction with the LA Tribune, um, I believe, next week. I think that's on the 6th. I, we'll be pushing that information out uh, if we have your information by uh, once you text in AI to that number. So... I think uh, that about wraps up. We're out of time. It's excellent. Amazing. Excellent work. So thank you both for your support. I uh, really appreciate your time, your dedication to, to helping me pull this whole thing together and uh, closing out the day. So we will be back 1 p.m. Eastern time, which is 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time uh, tomorrow, Saturday, the last day of the AI Symposium. Can't wait. Awesome. Thank you, Tom. Great job. Great job today. Thank you. Thank you all. All right, take Thank care. Thank you. Bye-bye.